Pokemon back to Hoenn and Noras. I need that for Sinnoh now, dude. I've yeah. had my Cinnaroar for years. Especially considering that the only Cinnaroar representative in Smash is such a low tier at this point. Yeah. And honestly, <laughs> I, I I just need more Gen 4 stuff, man. Yes. <laughs> but, I miss the mining, by the way. I mean, like, the mining for... Uh, for oh, the fossils. mining was great. The mining for fossils in in, uh, in Sword and Shields is fun, but it, it ain't what it, what Gen 4 mining and was. And the Battle Factory as well with Palmer's thing. Oh, yes. my God. Dude, Battle Factory was hard. That was lit. Almost as hard as it is fighting Jigglypuff and Palutena on this stage for uh, Pokemon Stadium 2. Got another Pokemon on stage with Incineroar alongside Dark Samus. Chupi and Sun rocking two very heavy characters here. That one, uh, that one screw attack actually managing to connect onto both opponents. All right, Jigglypuff back off stage using the air dodge to come back, but Explosive Flame gonna send Jigglypuff back into disadvantage. The Lolan with getting interrupted. Turning Fair has enough time to get a half charge charge shot. Dark Lariat is gonna, gonna command a lot of space here. And looks like Red Team has a good understanding of what to do against this team. That's a dash deck, throws him back. <laughs> get over there. <laughs> You're fighting the Valentina, not me. Yeah, that's the no you to the no you. Oh and my god! Down air, getting both <laughs> Dragneel and Lieutenant Surge from one single attack. I don't care where you're from. This is my stage. All right, get him with the back air on that, but Pound gonna send him back into a fair. What an up smash from Shoopy there. I expect to see that one on a couple highlight reels. Oh my goodness. Lieutenant Surge will answer back with a grab, but already a bit of a deficit and force the roll into Lieutenant Surge's domain. Ooh, does get back with Cross Chop after a lone one with there. Gets hit with an air off out of shield again. Cross Chop high, but not gonna get connected with the back air until the second time. Screw attack, putting him back above, but to the platform again where he can just get that left side of the stage under his control. So I like what they're doing here. They have Jupiter Cup holding in the roll in, and you have Palutena covering neutral dev and jump for the intangible back air. That's a really good setup from both Dragneo and Intense Surge. Invincible dash attack though, interrupting that projectile. All right, gonna get with the Nair, definitely off the Blast Zone on the side. All right, gets it with a bear out of shield. Very good call out from Sun there. And no, not able to grab him out of his own grab. Yeah, just unfortunately missed time there. Interrupted by the Darkest Lariat. All right, gonna go with a back throw here? No, goes with the up throw. Uh, a weird choice, actually. He was right next to the Blast Zone, basically. I think attempting to mix up the DI there, but the counter gonna lead to his teammate's death. Ooh, he even gets the revenge off of the uh, charge shot from Dark Samus there after getting both Jigglypuff and Palutena stocks. Back air gonna be connecting that to 22% onto Jigglypuff. Yeah, I guess gets the revenge out on the Jigglypuff and Dark Lariat there. That's the last hit of Dark Lariat as well. Again, as you pointed out, Dark Lariat has three hits, with the third being the weakest. Only a bit of hit stun to contend with off of that mini charge shot. And that invincible back air gonna be getting him right back out of there. And Max back with the cross shot here. Showed the hold shield on the uh, explosive lane there. And no, not able to get a turnaround grab. Instead rolls behind. Sun trying to make it back. He does. Palutena just a little bit off on the back air. Chupi whiffs the grab, but does well. Just playing a bit of footsies with Lieutenant Surge. Chupi does make it back against his fellow Pokemon there. And no, not able to get the forward tilt out in time against the forward air. Looks the grab again. Good punch from Lieutenant Surge. Sun just back airing to absolutely no one. I like I like that actually. The little rotation that Dragneo and Lieutenant Surge did. As soon as Lieutenant Surge got knocked out, Dragneo come, came in and tried to get Chupi back off stage like Lieutenant Surge was doing before. Well, to be fair to Dash Attack though, gonna be adding more damage onto Sun. Explosive flame short shortens it, but no. Not gonna be able to save his teammate in time. Has a revenge on, but uses it on his teammate, unfortunately. Sitting at 110 though, and giving his own teammate revenge with these projectiles. Stack one, two, and there goes the revenge and the Incineroar stock. Very nice interruption from Dragneel. I like this just intermediate. He's putting his own teammate in a better situation, perhaps at the cost of contending with this end lag from a character on stage. Gets almost around the explosive flame. Yeah, and gets rid of the revenge with the grab there. Very nice from Dragneel. 
And no, he's not, he didn't get the revenge charge, but he gets the last hit of fair. Honestly, super high. I didn't expect him to go that high for that. Yeah, what a chase as well. He didn't even need to do that, considering he could have just spent that time charging up some more projectiles to send to his buddy or maybe setting up a ledge trap, but yeah. he just went for it. Yeah, and that was amazing too, because when they had the time, it, it's kind of like how Lu uh, Lucario Lucas was in Smash 4. Lucario would, uh, would send an R-Sphere to Lucas so Lucas could recover, go back to basically zero Yeah, HP. we saw. But then in this one, we're damaging Incineroar so we can get po more powerful on his stuff. I feel like the best analog to that is just the Game & Watch combinations and Smash 4, especially yeah. knowing that you could fill up your opponent's or your teammate's bucket. They're doing the same with Revenge here, especially knowing that it stacks. Yeah, and like the like the Pikachu Game & Watch thing uh, back in Smash 4, like you mentioned. Mm -hmm. All right, gonna get rid of that Charge Heart with a Dark Lair right there. Intangible arms, I mean. Bear in the back air shields out that dash attack from Sun. All right, Chupi going, Sun going super hard off stage for dragging your stock there. And in Surge, the downer not going to connect in, punishes the up smash well. Ooh, F tilt going to send Sun back off stage. And he's making back after the nair, even Chupi though. Chupi falling into that nair from Palutena, though the down Ooh. smash connects onto his own teammate. Chupi sending Sun back off stage again. He has to watch out where he's throwing his stuff. It's about the whip grab, not going to be punished, but the F tilt gets no. the Alolan whip after. Not able to get that strong hit of Alolan whip there, but Explosive Flame going to send him upstairs. No, he does die to that up air though, and out of nowhere, that snipes from across the stage. Another one to bite the dust. This time, Dragneel going to lose the stock from that offstage interaction, but back into these nair loops. All right, trying to get out of there, does get out of there with the up -y. Yeah. And no, Dash Attack not going to take it. And that's really telling you caught him DIing in on the down throw to up smash. Now you can really just exploit that. Go for some of these mix-ups. Know that your opponent won't be DIing out of these combos. And Dragneel doing super well at controlling the ledge here. Lieutenant Sir trying to pick up for Dragneel as he was knocked away, but not able to contend. Shupi makes it back. The Dash Attack not going to be punished as he gets the Darkest Lariat. Dark Lariat not going to connect. Ooh. Not able to get the charge shot as well. Explosive Flame does connect onto Sun though. Should be trying to come back to stage. Does delay with the Alolan Web. It does make it back after cross chop. Sun by far the healthiest person on stage here and taking advantage to get Lieutenant Surge's second stock on. All right, Lieutenant Surge getting knocked back off stage with the back air there. Oh, back throw, my bad. Waits out that up smash, but the up B out of shield, or the up B out of end lag. What a call out, what a, what a coverage from Chupi here. Rolls back down and that tilt gonna be shielded out by Lieutenant Surge. Very nice conversion off of the nair into back air from Lieutenant Surge to Dragneel, giving the alley-oop kill. That throw gets him off stage, Chupi makes it back with the cross drop. Not able to get him on the down air screw attack does beat it out. Dragnel doing a good job of just maneuvering around some of these morph balls. Yeah, and green team's caught in between both of red team here trying to come back to stage. And no, Dragneel is not really hitting Chippy like he wants, but he's finally getting the connections. There, combo from the fair into another fair from Lieutenant to Dragneel, and there's the up air on the cross chop. Get him off the top. Has another stock in the inventory though, as Chupi is able to get one more. Very nice, gets him with the up top, but not able to connect with the back air afterwards. You see Alola whip, that's the Jigglypuff stock, and Dragneel's now alone. Yeah, this is gonna be a 2v1, so difficult to deal with, especially knowing that as soon as Dragneel's off stage, that's gonna be more revenge onto his teammate. That's unfortunate, did not get the short and explosive flame as well. Definitely trying to come back to stage, but he has to deal with fair charge shot and uh, all these from Incineroar and yeah. not able to make it back with teleport there. Just landed right into Sun's down smash and he didn't have his jump, so yeah. unable to make it back, but a clean 2-0 and a bit of an upset as well as yeah. Chupi and Sun take it. Yeah, Chupi and Sun doing super well, just commanding the stage, commanding the pace of the game.
they had a rough start at the beginning where Chupi was just tossing Sun around, making a little bit of a 3v1 at the very beginning, actually. Mm -hmm. And Sun doing really well at keeping his composure and continuing to play alongside his teammate. And except with the same game plan, uh, revised it a little bit, still able to do super well against such, a, honestly, a well-coordinated team. Yeah, I feel like the missiles and charge shots might have been a bit obvious at first, but it really came in handy, especially at the end of game one. Yeah. So much revenge, even though it ended up killing their teammate, it just struck fear into Dragnail, and he made one crucial mistake. Yeah, and there's just a lot he, he had to deal with if if he got away from all these smash attacks, all these arrows being thrown out. He, like you said, he had to deal with charge shot afterwards. It's a fully charged charge shot, and he had to deal with missiles. He had to deal with a revenge incineroar. There's just so much that he had to account for in that moment. So we are approaching top six now. Only a couple more matches on winner's side until we get there. You might be able to hear the chants for the crews going on in the background. Oh yeah, that's right, crews are going on right now. What a crowd that's gathered there as well. You can sort of see it on the center of your screen above, like just in the alley there. Yeah, but in the top so left So many right people there. are gathered, you can see right above Luna's head. Yeah, and there's just, Damn, I want to watch that. <laughs> <laughs> There's just so much energy as There's well. There's so much talent. Like, look, we see it's a special occasion when the divider is down and we're getting the full setup here because in MSM, we have half the venue space, but yeah. both conference rooms booked out like it was for Congo Saga, like yeah. it was for Prime Saga, like it was for Switch for, Fest, for, for MSM sagas. 200. Yeah. It's a special event when we have the entire space. Yeah, and SoCal Chronicles 